We're going to look at slide layers now. So I've created a slide here and I've created some layers to go with it. And I'll show you how I do this. So what I've got here is a series of buttons or objects as they are. And what we're going to do, I'll show you that if you click on these, then a different slide layer will appear. And these are the slide layers down here. So if you click on button one, or object one, then slide layer one will appear. So let's preview this. Click on one, that appears. Two, three. There you go, you get the idea as to how it works. Let's show you how I created that. So I've got a page here. These are just shapes with numbers in the middle. And then down here I've got nothing. You'll notice I've got no slide layers. So I'm going to create a new layer. It's got untitled layer one. I'll leave it as that for the minute. And I'll insert a shape. And there we go. So if we go back to the normal layer, which is uh, the base layer, there's nothing there. Go to layer one, that shape appears. I'll copy that shape. You don't have to, but I will. What I'll do now is create a trigger. So I'm going to click on that object, and create a trigger. And the trigger is going to show layer. Show layer called untitled one, which is this one here. When the user clicks on rectangle one, which is this one here. Press OK. So preview that. There we go, we click on it, it appears. Now, nothing happens when we click on number two and number three because we've not set them up yet. But it works in exactly the same way. So, I will create a layer called Untitled 2. I've just pasted that, I copied it earlier. I'll paste that, move it over, go back to Grid Layout, and then apply a trigger. Show Layer layer two, when the user clicks on rectangle two. Okay, and let's do it again. Grid layout, click on the object, trigger, show layer, layer three, when the user clicks on rectangle three, which is the object I selected, Press OK, preview it, this slide, one, two, three, there you go. That's how you create layers. Now, within this object, you could have anything you wanted. You could type, you know, you could put text in there, but it doesn't have to be just an object. This was just to demonstrate it. You could have it so it's completely different. So I'll go to this slide, for instance, you can see that it's got lots of layers here. So all of these are layers. So if I click on that, you can see that the layer completely changes and the text goes on the left hand side. And the image is changing as well. So let's show you this being previewed. So you've got to click on these icons and they've got state set up so they move as to when you hover over them and the left hand text will change along with the image. And all it's doing is showing a different layer every time I click on it. Something else that's important to note, if I go back to this original one, if I go to Untitled Layer 1, you can rename it by right clicking on it, rename it and call it number one or anything that you want. If you do that on the most recent versions of Articulate Storyline, it will also change the, the layer that it's going to point to. So it will point to the layer that's called number one, which is this one here. And it was previously called Untitled Layer One. Other things to notice, click on this little cog icon. 
and you've got hide other slide layers, hide objects on base layer, or hide slide layer when timeline finishes. So you've got lots of options here. So if I go for this one here, which is hide objects on base layer, I'll show you how this looks. So if I preview this, so it's looking how I expected, click on number one, and everything else disappears because it's hidden all of the objects on the base layer. Because on the layer that I've created, the only thing I've added is this box. And I can't get back to it. There's nothing I can do other than as a user, go forward a screen or go back a screen. So when you're creating it, you've got to think about what do you want to do? There might be a situation in which you want this. So you might want it to be that a user clicks on something and then they get more information and then they must progress the screen. So I'll let you work out how you want to design it. But to change that, you go into the layer, click on the cog, close that, and there you go, it's working again.